That's four. He's hammered that. Typical Adam Gilker shot. There he goes again. That's wide. That's short. That's four. Balls in the air, going to square leg. The pull shot. And got him. So the aggressive Adam Gilchrist finally comes to an end. He was nearly caught in the over before. Got it, trying to go a first slip. He lunged forward, the ball going across his body. That is the standard delivery for Mervyn Dillon. That's the sort of delivery he has to start the game with. Back foot slash from Pony, and that's four as well. But at this time, got a lot more bat on it on this occasion. That will go all the way. He's got it through, and it will go all the way. Finds the boundary. Full stretch dive. 50 for Ricky Ponte. Another one to add to the many scores he got in the Test Series in which he was man of the match, man of the series. 32nd time he's passed the 50 in one day internationals. Straight down the ground and a chase around, he won't get there. That's beautifully timed by Ponting. In the air, fielder up there and taken. In the air cover, and it's gone. Ricardo Powell, an easy catch for a player of his quality. That's flew off the edge, and Mervyn Dillon takes the catch. Another wicket for Amari Banks. Well, that's a very important wicket there for Amari Banks. Simon's getting a little frustrated there, trying to come down and... Just past Ricardo Powell, that will go all the way. Well, it was in the air. In the air, but there's a big gap between the mark back fine leg and just in front of square, and he found it. And safe. And four. And over his head, straight through. Ricardo Powell over his head, it was travelling, but he got two hands up, he really should have held on to it, a good fielder like Ricardo Powell. Too late. And straight back down the ground, it'll go for four, beats the two fielders. So Ian Harvey finishes off with a boundary, a splendid innings by him, and a superb partnership between himself and Devon. Worth 87 from just 62 deliveries, has boosted Australia to 270 for five, an expensive last over from uh, Corey Cullamore. Offside is, well, you don't want to chase those. A big sound, we'll wait on the umpire to tell us what this was. Four runs is a signal from umpire Shepherd, so that's a missed opportunity. Make that 13 from the over. Oh, that's four. Have a look at that. That is the wind up and slash through the offside. Over the top, four more. Well, this will bring the crowd alight. Everybody on their feet waving their little placards that says four. And that is a high ball. And that is a long ball. And that is six. the wicket. Gal goes high. It's in the air. It's going towards cover. And under it is Hogg. Can he catch it? What a catch. Brilliant catch to Brad Hogg. We've seen two Australians overrun the ball. And Hogg got there. Straight up. He is going to be dismissed as well. Another quick deliver from Brett Lee. Two wickets down. <laughs> Kept out very well. And double bluff. Tempted Yorker. Good shot from Devon Smith. He's a little man, but he hits the ball with a tremendous power. 
Lara gets it through. Will be his first boundary. But instead, it's Brian Lara who swung that to the deep mid wicket boundary. First boundary and resumption for the West Indies. Beautifully. Edge and gone. Harvey comes back straight away. Good catch by Adam Gilchrist going across to his left. It's his strong side. And Australia have manufactured a breakthrough. The equation, the West Indies need 16, but Brett Lee's coming back in. And he's going to bowl in swinging Yorkers at 90 miles an hour. If he can, or a bouncer. One bounce over for four. That's the danger of Brett Lee. Ricky Ponting has a wry smile because it must have been a setup. To... And, uh, well, good umpiring. Very good delivery from Lee and very good umpiring. Salmon wants to go away from the stumps, then he's got to put up with the fact that it's a normal delivery and the fact that he couldn't reach it. He needs some boundaries. Hayden, oh, I wish it again. They'll look for two. Will they come back for three? No, they won't. So Salmon now has to back himself. And he's got up in the air. Will he get away with it? They'll look for two. They've got to run and cross, but they won't. Well, they could have run and tried to cross and taken the run out for Dylan as long as they'd crossed. But maybe someone felt that he couldn't get back to cross. He's hit it high. He's hit it high. Hog is under it. And he's dropped it. So they only ran two. They should have run three. They should have been flat chat running as fast as they could. He's had a swing at it, and it's gone for four. And that's no good for the West Indies. So in a rain-affected match, Australia to get away in a thriller. So under the Duckworth-Lewis method, Australia wins by two runs.